sometimes you're going to want to top scrub and recoat the floor. Well, what do we do? First thing is we need to change and put the blue pad on and take the red pad off. Now, on this particular machine has a very convenient little feature, and that is this little switch right here. If you turn it to the left, pad drops off the floor. Now, let me show you how that works. Just like this. You see the pad comes off of the machine and there we go. Now, all I have to do is just change and put the blue pad on instead of the red. I'll be right back with you. Now, as you can see, I don't have the red pad. It's over to the side. I put the blue pad on and to put the pad back on the machine, you simply put it over it, drop your pad down on, your housing down on, and it might do that and then it falls in place. And now when I put this, pads on the machine, and that's how simple it is. Now, if I want to top scrub the floor, I need a different chemical. And that's where we get this chemical here. This particular one's called Wildfire, just by name. Why do I use it? Because it is an 8 pH instead of a 7, which is a neutral cleaner. Want a little bit stronger chemical. Why? We're going to clean the floor because we're going to recode it later. So we run the machine exactly the same way as when we're doing our daily cleaning. You just use the product according to the directions. Let the more aggressive chemical and more aggressive pad clean your floors. And then remember, always rinse. So what do we do? Once that we're done with this chemical, flush out my solution tank, put fresh water in it, clean the floor with, or well, actually just rinse the floor and make sure everything is up. That way, when we lay our floor finish, it'll stay right where we want it.